everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm so happy that you found me today we're making some orange patchouli soap and right now I am mixing my colloidal oats and what I thought was kaolin clay turned out to be titanium dioxide because I'm an idiot and didn't mark my container normally I put kaolin clay in all my soaps and that problem has been fixed now but in the bucket, I have some coconut oil, cocoa butter, palm oil, shea butter, castor oil, and olive oil. And those are my basic recipe oils. And here you can see my lye pitcher coming over. Um, right now, I'm going to show you the colors. And I've got some cyber grapes, some crazy eyes, and some cheesy poof. The cyber grape is from Nurture Soap, and the other two are from Mad Micah's. So in goes the lye, and my God, I know the camera adds 10 pounds, but I look like a beached whale. It's time to go on a diet, and I am rinsing off the lye pitcher right now just to be safe. So I'm blending up my oils, and as you can tell, I forgot to put my safety glasses on. Regular glasses are not a enough you need to wear your safety goggles and I can just say do do as I say not as I do um, I've been doing this for a long time I have yet to get lie in my eye knock on wood that doesn't mean it's not going to happen so I am just blending to emulsion and I'm going to do a thin line pour. I saw this done on Royalty Soaps. Katie Carson um, did it just recently. And it came out beautifully, so I wanted to try it myself. Originally, I had some embeds that I was going to put on top with some frosting. Um, but I changed my mind after I did a swirl on top and saw how pretty it was. I decided just to leave it as it is. So, um, the embeds back there in the baggie are not going on the soap. So right now I'm going to split off my colors. And that white pitcher is more titanium dioxide since I didn't realize that I made the goofy error. But that's okay. I wanted white in it anyway. Um, I'm going to dump out all of my soap batter because I don't need any of it left. Everything is going to be mixed into colors. And just eyeballing it. I don't ever weigh out my um, portions. I don't feel it's necessary unless I'm making a really intricate design which I have not done yet so I don't ever weigh them and I'm just scraping out the bucket kind of boring right now I hope you guys have been doing well leave me a comment below on your favorite scent blend and try to leave an emoji that goes along with it if it's floral leave flowers if it woody, leave trees. If it's fruity, leave fruits. I would really appreciate it. It helps my channel out greatly if you all comment on the videos. So I'm just going to blend up the colors now with my stick blender. Not very long because I don't want it to thicken up any worse on me. The fragrance oil is Orange Patchouli by um, Nurture Soap. And the patchouli is very, very faint. I smell more orange than I do anything else. Um, but the scent blend says that it has nuances of oak moss, violet, cedarwood, and patchouli. There's no acceleration, and it turns the color, the soap, a light yellow. If I could get my words out, we'd be doing a whole lot better. Um... In the end result, if I really couldn't tell any yellowing. Um, even now, a couple weeks into the cure, I don't really see any yellowing. So the colors must have masked it pretty well. Um, 
and just clean it off the stick blender here. Pretty soon you're going to see me adding more orange to the cheesy poof. I didn't use the yellow I just pulled out, but I did put more orange in because like I said, I originally was going to put embeds on top and I was trying to match up the colors, which is impossible with all that titanium dioxide in there. So, um, I did end up putting a little bit more in just to make it a little more oranger. Oranger? Is that a word? Orange. A little more orange. Um, just an eighth of a teaspoon. Yep, just an eighth of a teaspoon. Blending it up now. If you guys have made it this far in the video, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and like to the videos. You can even share them if you like. Like I said, it really helps out my channel to get new subscribers, to get comments, to get likes on the videos. Helps out with the algorithm of YouTube. Right now my algorithm is pretty crappy uh, because I'm so tiny. So uh, go ahead and give me those thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, please. And if you like this format better than the music or me talking during the video while I'm actually making the soap, let me know. Um, it does seem to be a little bit easier on me than trying to talk while I'm making the soap. It did take me about six tries with my editing program and my microphone to finally get it to work. I tried to edit this video, like I said, six times and got so frustrated because it would either freeze on me or it would get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Just everything you can think of went wrong. So I'm going to clean off my hand and grab the mold now. And we're going to do that thin line pour. I'm using my 5-pound brambleberry mold. I love that mold. The bottom comes out, so the soap just drops on out when you're ready to unmold it. I don't know where I went, but I'll be back. Oh, I went to reset the camera. That's what I did. Because my camera likes to shut off every f 10 minutes. Worst investment I've ever made for my business was this camera. I paid buku bucks for it. It came in a kit with a bunch of different lenses. I thought, well, that would be cool for photography-wise because it has a zoom lens, a wide lens, a close-up lens. But there's no viewfinder on the camera, so I can't see what I'm doing as I'm recording. And even though I have the video settings to not shut off for 30 minutes, it still does. So obviously something is wrong with the camera. And I, it didn't start doing it till it was too late to send it back. So I'm just stuck with it. Which is really disappointing. I will make sure I do more research before I buy another one because I will be getting another one. I cannot stand not being able to see what I'm doing. So we're getting ready to do this pour now. And here goes the fragrance oil. Just going to split it up evenly between the buckets. And I tried to fast forward portions of this video, although when I'm recording it, it is not doing that. So I show you a couple of pours here on, you know, so you get the basic idea of what I'm doing. And then the video is supposed to speed up, but maybe it doesn't do it while I'm in this mode. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever done this with this program. Um, I use a... Cyberlink, I think it is. Um, Pro. It was an expensive program, but it constantly freezes. It's not very user-friendly. Um, and then the other one that I have is a, a cheap one, and it doesn't have all the features that I like on it. So even after one year, I'm trying to figure this program out. 
it has a lot of different things that you can do with it. Not all of them I would ever use, but it's a learning curve, I guess. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just basically pouring in colors separately in little thin lines. And of course, I'm making a mess. Oh, here we go. Now it's speeding up. I didn't think you wanted to watch the whole pouring in regular time. So it's going to go a little fast. And then when we get to the end, I will be working on the top and it will slow down again. I may put music in here for this part. I don't know. Yeah, I think I will put music in. We're going to be working on the top now and what I'm going to do is just take the rest of the colors out of the bucket and put them in a straight line over the top kind of overlapping and then we'll do a little swirl I start off doing a zigzag but then I changed my mind and did the infinity swirl Samba Sorry, I had to yell at my fur baby. He's trying to get into my plant. I think he likes the smell. I had to hide it so he would not get into it. <laughs> it's actually in a little bitty room with a grow light because I can't, I live in a basement so I don't have any light, number one. And number two, I got to keep him out of it. So, yeah, it's a pretty big plant. So if I had it out in the living room, he would get into it, no doubt. All right, what is going on with this thing? Just a freeze frame, freeze frame. That's what it looks on my end, is a freeze frame. Don't get it. I don't get it at all. This stupid program, it acts up all the time. It'll freeze on me, and then I'll lose the work that I did. Even though it does try to recover most of it, and usually it can. But like with this video, no, not so much. Because I have so many edits in it, it didn't remember everything every time it froze. So I have, you know, cuts and I have fast forwards and I have music and whatnot. And it couldn't remember it all in my computer's brain. So another thing I'm disappointed about is my computer. I bought a brand new computer last year, and instead of getting one with a huge memory, I only got eight gigabytes, and I am out of space already, just from my business stuff and pictures. Um, I've got two external hard drives hooked up to it, and it still tells me I'm out of memory all the time. Very frustrating. Should have did more talking to the salesman. But you live and you learn, right? That's what happens when you do impulse buys. You don't get it right all the time. So here I'm going to bang down the soap. Get all the air bubbles out. And then we'll finish working on the top.
And there she is. I did add some glitter to the top. And here I'm going to show you me cutting some pieces. Look at that beautiful, beautiful soap. Isn't that just gorgeous? All those swirls. I love it. I love it. And it's pastel, of course, because of all the CD, titanium dioxide. And another thing, I'm going to have to reset my camera because if you notice, I have a circle in my picture where the outside corners are all fogged up. I don't know what happened to my camera, but we'll have to factory reset it. I do believe I fast forward this part a little bit too, so you don't have to watch me cutting the entire loaf in slow motion. So if I do, I will insert music. But I'm just loving that soap. I love the way it looks. I love the colors together. I think it's just gorgeous. Hopefully it'll be a good seller. Because as I say, the patchouli is very, very faint. Um, I find that either you like patchouli or you don't. And the people that do like it really like it. And um, so this one could be for either or. Um, it, I smell more citrusy notes than I do anything. Um, yeah, but very happy with the way this came out. I'll definitely do this pour again. And I'm so glad that you stuck around to watch my video. Remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And there we go. Finally fast forwarding. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to take you out with some music. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to always tell your loved ones that you do love them. You never know. Tomorrow's never promised. Peace out.